Let's talk about this Ford F-150. If it's got the same exact miles as an F-150 gas car versus the Lightning, does it mean the same thing? When you see 100,000 miles on an F-150, you're probably going to think that car has been through a lot. At least the engine has. And that's because gas engines have hundreds of moving parts, fluids that corrode things, just stuff that can break and move and get old and get worn down. And an EV doesn't have any of those moving parts. And a battery can last way longer than an engine, especially if you know how it's been cared for. Gas cars, they have oil changes and timing belts and spark plugs and all that kind of stuff that an EV just doesn't have. There's really two things that are gonna wear down on an EV that are quicker than a gas car. The tires, just cause it's a heavier vehicle and goes a little faster, so you step on that rubber. And battery degradation, it sounds scary, but it's not nearly as bad as people think. Plus batteries don't just die overnight, they give you warnings and alerts and fade slowly. And so it's not something where your engine just stops working at 100,000 miles. It depends on where you look and who you follow, but generally speaking, about half the miles on an EV versus a gas car in terms of usage. So what does that mean? 50,000 miles on an EV is roughly equivalent to 25,000 miles on a gas car. And it depends on the car and how you drive it. I'm just giving you a rough range and estimate based on the data that I've seen that's out there. So if you're thinking about buying a used EV from us or anyone else, just really get to know that battery and the history. That's gonna be your number one thing to think about.